rolling, he goes to chat away. Well, then I guess the first question is, is that last week you walked through those double doors downstairs and it'd be really interesting to get your insight on what you were expecting and what your state of mind was when you first sort of rolled into the change room. I came here with an open mind, I'll be honest. I was very apprehensive. Um, honestly, you don't know what to expect. Again, you come into a, a group with a lot of people saying that they can or may help you in ways that you've never been helped before. Um, all I can say is I'm glad I walked through those doors. Absolutely amazing experience. So far, um, uh, I've learnt more than I could possibly learn about me in such a short period of time that I haven't had an opportunity to learn in a long time. I think I spoke to you before, Maddie, last week, was that you get to a stage where you spent most of your life helping other people and you help and help and help and you slowly forget how to help yourself. And one thing that this has taught me here is how to back, go back and look at me and work out how to help me again, um, especially with the group, the team, which is such a wonderful thing to say because the people here are a team. Uh, I've felt nothing but appreciation, help, uh, and the greatest thing you've given me is hope, uh, which is something I haven't had for a long, long time. That's pretty humbling to hear that, and there's no doubt about that. Let's have a talk about that hope and let's, let's expand on that, what you've actually have learned and how to help yourself. What are the things that you've really grabbed onto that have made an immediate impact and what are the things that are slowly sinking in? Uh, probably the, I mean, I, I suffer from a lot of inflammation uh, and PTSD, uh, a lot of things that, you know, a lot of us police people have suffered for a long, long time. But my injuries, I didn't know how to manage them. Um, I was eating the wrong foods that were probably generating a lot of pain for me. Uh, and even in a short matter of time, I can see the difference it's made in uh, sleeping better, uh, being able to reduce my pain levels a little bit more. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's the, as you said to me, the one percenters make all the difference. Um, so hopefully now the 1% will turn into a 10, a 20, but it's just a gradual process at the moment. But I can see and I feel better. I feel better spiritually. I feel better mentally, uh, knowing that uh, I've got people around me that understand what I'm like and what I've been through and have given me the tools to, for me to do something about it, not necessarily always looking at other people to do something about it, which is really good. I guess the thing that goes hand in hand with what you're saying there, Andrew, is that that information's out there and available to you. How has the, the relationship with the mentors in particular allowed you to grab hold of it? Well, though, it was simplistic. It was informative. Uh, it really related to day and day understanding. But the thing is, a lot of us didn't know it was out there. Uh, and to bring it in such a a uh, comfortable way of, of learning and, and receiving the information. It was just like the oceans had parted and we could see the difference that you guys, the, the mentors, were obviously so cooperative and so giving that it just made it really, really easy for us to understand how to become better people again. What about the us side of it? We've heard that a lot. As you're sharing this environment with some people that I guess one can identify with your own challenges. Definitely. And secondly, you know, are on the same learning path. What's that been like? I think it's been inspirational in the way that every person can relate to the differences that we've had. But in the end, uh, we put it all together and it's really, we're all in the same family. Uh, the, 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 the friendship, the, 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 the way we, we, we can see what's happening through your advice and through your help um, has probably brought us closer together. Uh, and definitely I can see that, you know, people here I've met before, but there's people that I haven't met before and I, I've spoken to them. They're all reserved like anything at first, but now we're all, hey, let's talk together, let's be together, let's learn from each other, let's help each other. Uh, that's a wonderful thing to be. And, and uh, you know, you're not sitting at home trying to dwell on 
the things that may affect you or not affect you. You've got people you can talk to. I know that I could give you an email or give you a call and I know you'd, you'd, you'd be there to help me. Uh, that's how welcoming it is and that us feeling is amazing. A light question before I finish for the day. Sure. What about being in an environment like this, you know, being in a sporting stadium, do you think that also adds to the experience? Definitely. Um, look, how many thousands of people would be in this stadium at any particular day when the footy's on, but when you look out there, how many thousands of people are out there are like me? Um, it just makes you realise that, you know, we're all in the one big team together and with your help and with everyone else's help, the, the guidance that we've got, uh, we're now part of a bigger team that's, you know, going to make my life even better. And that's, that's why I want to finish about making your life better. It was, I know you shared with me the adventure that you're setting off and some of the inspiration behind that. You know, can you just see where, where that journey's going to take you? Obviously, I've said that I'm going to go around Australia next year and it's something I've been planning for a while. Uh, I probably didn't realise how important making that decision to do that was for me. Um, it's going to take me to a different environment, different places, different things to, to experience, uh, but it's a journey that will start my life again. Uh, I'm so looking forward to just experiencing something different, uh, but at the same stage knowing that I can actually take one step at a time and do it with full confidence now. I mean, I'm a broken man, I won't deny it. I've, I've got a hip replacement, I need another hip replacement, I need another knee replacement. But I'm not afraid of the pain now. I'm really excited about the journey and that's probably one really, really good thing that I can take away from here. That journey is now, it's, it's inevitable, it's going to happen and I'm not afraid to go anymore. I was a bit apprehensive at first, but now I'm just like, I'm ready to go. It's, it's good. It's really, really good. Wow. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers. Well, Cheers, I brother. That. I loved every second of that. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thank you. Really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, mate.